Working in horticulture involves creating and maintaining open space environments and caring for plants. Horticultural workers need to be physically fit and able to pay attention to detail. Any workplace presents potential dangers to its workers and this program will highlight some of the typical hazards found in horticulture and help you to work safely and effectively in this chosen field. Injuries received from performing manual tasks at work are all too common and can seriously affect your life and future career. Back pain and other musculoskeletal injuries can be caused from a single unsafe action, but more commonly are due to stressing the body over a long period of time. Your risk of injury will be greater if you have to handle heavy objects or do repetitive work, especially if you have poor manual handling and lifting habits or if you adopt unsafe postures. Working with vibrating equipment or hand tools will also increase your risk of injury. Injuring your back, having to have several weeks off, missing the footy finals, maybe not getting back to work like you were before, maybe letting your workmates down because you can't lift that heavy trunk anymore or that bit of plant, or you can't move the things that you used to move. Not a good thing, particularly at the start of a career. It can ruin a career and mean the end of it. It's very important that you look after yourself as much as you look after your workmates. Before you start any job, you should always be aware of possible hazards and work out ways to reduce the risk of hurting yourself. For instance, if you think a load is too heavy for you, you could get help from another person or use a mechanical aid or lifting device. Always keep loads close to your body and arrange your work to reduce reaching and stretching. You should never lift heavy or awkward loads away from your body as this places very high forces on your back which can lead to serious injury. There is a correct tool for every task you perform. For instance, when digging, a long-handled shovel improves leverage and requires less bending of the back than shorter handled shovels. Using a sack truck or wheelbarrow will avoid the need to carry objects long distances. If your task involves repetitive movements and actions, such as pruning, try varying your posture and take regular short breaks to stretch and move. This also applies if you're using vibrating tools and equipment, such as chainsaws or even leaf blowers. Ask your supervisor for assistance if you're unsure about the correct way to perform your work. Remember, always work with safety in mind and never cut corners. Equipment used in horticultural work includes a wide range of both hand-operated and powered equipment. Many of these tools are potentially hazardous and it's essential that you undergo accredited training in their safe use before you operate any of them. It is also important that you are inducted in the safe use of equipment in the environment where it will be used, as there may be specific hazards unique to each location. Make sure you are familiar with the operator's manual of each machine and stick to all workplace standard operating procedures or SOPs. These SOPs have been prepared by your host or employer and specify how the equipment is to be used and what personal protective equipment or PPE must be worn. Some equipment may require specific eye and hearing protection and wherever it's required it must be worn correctly at all times. PPE is your last line of defence. And whilst it's very easy to forget or not take the time, no it's too hard, I've got to get the job done, I'm very busy or it won't matter, I won't get hurt, that's the very time when your defences are down that it could happen. It can happen to any of us, whether you're at the very start of your career or at the very end. Don't forget, if the job's worth doing, it's worth doing safely. All machinery and equipment has pre-operational checks that must be performed prior to commencing any work. Care must always be taken to ensure all guards are in place and that the machine is fully functional. Any adjustments which alter a machine's general operation must always be carried out prior to the machine being started. Any damage to plant and machinery is a potentially serious hazard and should be reported to your supervisor before attempting to use the equipment. 
Damaged equipment needs to be repaired and must be tagged correctly so other people do not try to use it. Horticultural machinery such as wood chippers, chainsaws, brush cutters or hedge trimmers have moving parts or blades and require particular care. Some of these blades are exposed and may be hazardous to others working around you. Care should be taken to advise nearby people so you reduce the risk of injury to them. There are many different types of hazardous substances encountered in horticultural work. Some of these are used to maintain landscapes, while others fuel machinery or provide lubrication. Many more are found within cleaning products. All of these substances can potentially affect your health if you don't correctly handle, use or store them. Hazardous substances can enter our body through three main routes. Skin exposure, through contact of hazardous substances with our skin. Ingestion, through food contamination or by swallowing hazardous substances. And inhalation, through breathing in hazardous powders or vapours. An understanding of these methods of exposure to hazardous substances will lead us to make sure we are protected at all times by using the appropriate PPE. Before using any hazardous substance, it is most important that we understand the nature of the substance and how it may affect our health. We do this by reading the labels on the container and referring to the Material Safety Data Sheet, or MSDS, supplied by the manufacturer for each product. The MSDS will describe the right way to use the substance, how it should be stored and clean up procedures in case of spills. The MSDS will also specify the PPE required. When working with hazardous substances, care should be taken to inspect all PPE to ensure it's in good condition before use. Gloves, respirators and chemical boots should be clean and free of all chemical residues before and after use. Eye protection should be clean and close fitting and disposable spray suits should be intact and not torn. You should have any damaged PPE replaced before you commence any work. Hazardous substances should never be decanted into smaller unapproved containers such as plastic drink bottles or food jars. Many horticultural tools are designed to cut and can pose a risk if used incorrectly and without the correct personal protective equipment. Laceration injuries can range in severity from minor cuts requiring first aid to major injuries requiring hospitalisation. Injuries can occur if you let your body come into contact with saw blades or cutters. Even when a machine is turned off, it can still injure you. Most tools need to be sharp, so you should take extra care when handling, cleaning, sharpening or using them. When sharpening equipment such as chainsaws or hedge trimmer blades, wear the correct gloves to protect your hands and fingers. Other PPE such as eye and hearing protection may also be required. Operating horticultural vehicles such as ride-on mowers and small tractors can also cause serious injury. Mowing under and around trees and bushes can cause hand crushing injuries, as well as bodily and facial grazes and abrasions from protruding branches. When going about your work, keep alert to all potential hazards and wear appropriate PPE for the task being performed. Many workers suffer from allergic reactions when coming into contact with certain plants or insects. These reactions range from minor to severe and life-threatening. If you do suffer from any allergies, it is most important that you advise your employer or host and always carry the appropriate medication with you. Remember, your working conditions are likely to change daily, so always be aware of your surroundings and inform your fellow workers of any potential health-related issues that may be present. As an outdoor worker, it is important that you identify any hazardous working conditions that may be specific to your health or to the health of your fellow workers. Uh, I've been in this game for 35 years and 
uh, one of the first things I always say to my new staff, uh, apprentices, is question. Question everything you don't understand. It's, it's the more questions you ask, the clearer in your mind on how a job should be done, the safer you'll be, the quicker the job will be done, uh, the job will be done better. Working in horticulture is a rewarding career where you play a part in developing and maintaining landscapes in a wide range of locations. The safety challenges of horticultural work are significant and it's important that you play your part in developing good safety habits that will help you have a long and successful career.